Hello my friends, this is Chris with StickerFab. We are back with another video. Today we're doing the printed series grab handle logo inlays and our full coverage uh, printed series stripe overlay for those grab handles. Sorry, a lot going on here. Trying to think about what we're doing. Um, essentially, this is what we're going to do. We're trying to get paint match options for the Bronco. Now, when I say paint match, we're getting as close to the color as possible. Area 51 is a very unique color. We don't have much sun here right now this second, but if you look on the sunnier side of this car versus the darker side of this car, there's quite a contrast uh, between certain colors, uh, especially Area 51. So I wanted to do these printed series uh, for the grab handles for a long time. And what did it is a customer sent me a picture of his eruption green uh, Bronco with the dash inlays over there and it looked great it looked great from the outside looking at his paint color and then looking at that but then he had blue handles and that really didn't work uh i think in his mind and my mind um i have area 51 at badlands i don't mind the uh the orange accents it's it kind of just sticks out there but the blue the blue might be off in this too because you've got kind of like this bluish greenish grayish color and then you've got blue so Gra uh, gray grab handles are pretty neutral, but I, I see that a lot of people that have the orange, uh, the blue handles might want to change these out. Now, the only part that I see that left anything is a little speck up there, but step back just a little. Hopefully your OCD doesn't get the best of you, and that's what you have. Uh, we don't cover the top uh, all the way because you'd have to kind of scrunch it down, and you'd have a lot of material moving around and some creases let's see right now is 82 degrees please 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 do this install when it is warm uh it's already a harder material to work uh with marginally uh i'm going to put this on the product page installation for the full coverage uh overlays because it does go all the way in that crease now that vinyl is uh like more pliable uh, a little bit easier to work with so it'll be in easier to install the non-printed uh, series version, but this is still doable. Um, let's go to this side, see what we're working with. I don't have much going on. I will take this off real quick before we start the video, um, and then we'll get down and dirty with uh, this install. We've got, you'll get four of these, so two per each side, just in case you mess something up, and I think we'll give you two sets of these as well, just in case uh, you mess up or have any hiccups along the way. Usually with two sets, you can kind of figure out what's going on, how the material is going to react. Uh, and if you lose a letter or two, you're still uh, good. You'll still have enough. Uh, but let me get everything I need. You're going to need, obviously, your vinyl. And now we offer these on the website. Let me see if I can reach in my pocket. What do I find? A little bit of a little tiny screwdriver. We're going to use that to push it in the lead edge. See, the non-full coverage the easy apply don't cover this little gap right here a lot of the times could you say that again no i will not say it again um for most people you won't notice this little gap especially if you have gray handles uh from normal viewing angles you might not see it but if you get right beside it you would see this also with the doors off you might see it but let me grab the sand and let's get right into this all right i hope you guys can see kind of a weird angle that i'm keeping that camera at to get in here um clean your hands clean this surface if it's dirty uh run some isopropyl alcohol on there try to get it as clean as possible let's start with the grab handle hope you guys are ready to brace your core or at least at a minimum do whatever you can to steady that hand all right so we got that vinyl like i said on the top, it's just going to go over very slightly, very slightly. So let's try to guide it down that trail edge. Gives us a nice little starting place. Might be my trash bin there. Use that screwdriver to help you. Just want to cover up that color on that trail edge first. And then we'll work 
the slightly difficult part, which is that little groove in the front. You can use your nail in here as well. So we have laminated over the grab handle stripe overlays. We haven't, and that was mainly to give it a little bit rigidity actually. Uh, we have not over those little letters because they are too small. So I'm gonna push this over the top just a little bit, but we're gonna start pushing into this groove. But at the same time, making sure we're covering that trail edge. So, if you can hold it down a little bit with one hand and then push it down with the other, go for it. But we're going to work our way slowly down. We can come back later if we need to. But don't rush it. Don't start down here. Just keep on moving along that same route. Don't skip around. Make sure that trail edge stays down. As you can see, if you take this slowly, it kind of all comes together. Just gently pushing down on that lead edge and then the trail edge. You want to do this when this is warm so this is uh, it's easy to work with. It'll, it'll work with you, it'll form better, and it'll stick really well. Obviously, this is a dry install. I think we'd be all over the place if we tried to do this with any liquid. Anytime it gets a little crease, I kind of just push it out. But a lot of the times when you move along, move down, it kind of just starts stretching it out naturally. So you only need to go back if you see those little bumps on the lead edge. Try to push those guys down a little bit. Try to even up that stripe. And don't be afraid the next couple times you get in the vehicle to do a little maintenance, check how this is going, push it down a little bit more if it's come up any. After a while, once the sun bakes it in and the car gets hot and kind of goes through heat cycles, that, that adhesive should be so sticky that you really don't have to worry about it anymore. Now I'm just pushing in the remainder of the bottom, tucking it in quite nicely. So there we have, that's the outer stripe. Um, I will change camera angles in a little bit and do the inner stripe. All right, here we go. Time to brace my core. Now I do need to go back and let's see here. Actually, I need to get the ones that I already started with. They have already been weeded all the way. One second. All right, so my letters are horribly ugly because I just weeded out enough to get the job done. Right off the bat, you're gonna wanna get these on that screwdriver or something equally as small, like a trim tool or something. Um, you wanna place the screwdriver on the edge and then you'll push down the other edge. You'll line the other edge first. Use a finger to make sure it pulls off nicely. If you have to kind of rotate that trim tool or screwdriver that you're using so that it becomes detached. Stretch that guy out a little bit so that the other pieces fall in place. 
you can move them around at your leisure to get them as straight as possible. Remember, like I said, you do have extra letters. Whew. Now the C. C was easier on the other side because it's faced the other way, but I'm going to grab the C by the, the thick part at the bottom. Kind of lay the top right in there. Just get it off that screwdriver. Stretch the other part out so that that line that skinny skinny line straightens out uh, right. I know there are people that have watched my videos that have done even nicer installs than yours truly I applaud you and Sure, I mentioned this, but now we do offer these screwdrivers on our website for your convenience. So you don't have to go to your Walgreens or whatever and get something like this if you don't have it already. Now I'm a pro with the O's since there's two of them. This is my third O that I've done. If you include the other side. I didn't do the inner grab handle on the other side. I will come back to that. So I think I'm gonna run this set for a while. I see no reason to change. And people are like, oh, your videos are too long. I've shortened them before and people said, you skipped around or you fast forwarded through this. I wanted to know how long it really takes. But through those little controls you have in YouTube, you can fast forward, rewind at your leisure. You can also speed up or slow down this whole thing. So go for it. But there we have it. That's the visible side all installed now we're gonna have to go back to the back side. All right, so you know what? I was gonna let myself get all hot and bothered, but decided to turn the AC on. Now you gotta find the appropriate template, of course. You can see for your ease of installation, we don't go and make that little strip that goes like way, way under here. We just stop it right there. Let's try to line this up to the best of your ability. I am at a weird angle because I am behind the camera. Try not to bump the camera. Because this doesn't have a groove on the lead edge, it makes the install a lot easier. It's gonna be a lot easier for you too, without a camera in between you and the grab handle.
So probably could have done a lot better, but that's a really quick install right there. Actually looks pretty good. Looks a lot better than some of the colors I've seen out there. Talking about that blue. I don't know, I feel like that blue might work for something else. Let's see, if I got a red Raptor and I covered it blue or had blue handles, that'd be a little Christmas-like. Or if you had a green eruption uh, Raptor and you already had, what? Here we had red handles like the Raptors come with. At least that's Christmas themed. But for some of these vehicles, yeah, I could see it. Might not make sense for you to run your sock grab handles. That's what it looks like after you modify it. The next thing I will try to do is this sucker, but you know, that's even harder than the grab handles. So that's a start. We don't have caps that go over this. Uh, someone was selling 3D printed ones that they're hand painting. I don't know how those are gonna turn out, but you do have to like remove that. It doesn't, actually, I don't think it's a cap. I don't think it goes over it. Um, but we can make the uh, paint matched uh, ones that just go in that little tab area. They're just little slits. You only have to buy one pair. I see people buy like four of them and they get the 16 little pieces and wonder what the heck is going on. They're cheap. They're only a dollar. They'll be a little bit more for printed series naturally because it takes more time to get those done. But, 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 we'll still be affordable. We'll go back and try to do some of the stripes and whatnot also. Uh, modifying these templates, they do require a little modification from the normal uh, materials we work with, but still it's a lot easier than doing new templates. So we've gone back and we're kind of working on that right now. But thank you guys so much for your support, continued support. Please like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not already, and hit that bell notification icon for the latest and greatest things we are working on for the 2021 and up Ford Bronco.